it everybody it's puppy sims and welcome back to the channel today we are doing another episode of the not so berry challenge and i had to click record right now because lacy just asked us if she can move in she just said i've been thinking about this a lot and i wanted to ask if you'd like to live together i don't think it's the right time or yes i love that and i've obviously didn't have to think about this twice of course i'm gonna say yes i would love that i would love to have lacy move in and she's still just our girlfriend we're not getting engaged or anything like that but we will move her in and she comes with 10 grand great great she lives with us now that's so awesome Oh my gosh, it's Nayeli Najira. Oh, we should say hi. Oh, we should ask Nayeli to mentor us, actually. And can I actually have you work out too? Can I have you uh, do something? What about climb? There we go. She's gonna climb. Now we have another sim con to control. <laughs> um, Nayeli used to be our roommate, actually, in the earlier episodes. So she's going to guide us. Um, I'm going to actually stop and kick the soccer ball with Nayeli after that. So that we have um, that going. Meanwhile, Lacey is over here. She's actually still pretty low in the fitness skill compared to winter she's level two and winter is level seven going on eight so he is much higher level fitness than she is which is fine she can catch up eventually here now the reason why i'm playing soccer with nayeli is so that we can have the same level of social interaction as we would if we were just sitting here talking and then on top of that we are also boosting our fitness skill so it's like two birds with one stone here. Now, we were originally here on a little bit of a date. Um, I was having these two go on a date since it's Sunday. I was going to start recording the episode on Monday, but Lacey had other plans, clearly. Um, what does she look like while she's doing this? Like, what's her face look like? She's, like, optimistic, I would say. I'm climbing to the top. Here I go. I'm going to brighten her day, tell her a funny story, and then I don't think I'm going to push the limits. I just got a new uh, a notification. It says, hello from the other side. You don't know me, so this might sound weird, but you're going to inherit from me, kid. Why, you might ask? Just, let's just say the money needs to go somewhere quick. And I heard through the grapevine that you were a good upstanding sim. So you're about to inherit a chunk of my hard-earned simoleons. Listen, buddy, part of life is planning your death. And you should write up a will when you're ready on who's going to inherit your simoleons, your heirlooms, your kids. I did mine on the computer, but you can call up the inheritance lawyer to write one too, if you want. Let's not make good life choices, kid. I'm sure you didn't. Um, I'm going to say free money, yes, please. Oh, we got $4,000. And then maybe I will take his advice and call the lawyer after this because this is quite inspiring for us. Like, oh, we got a call to literally write our will. Like, what would happen if we passed away? Topaz and Jasper would be totally um, parentless. So we should definitely start to think about that. Um, but why don't we... We're going to stay on the lot for a minute. Oh, it looks like we're going to grab something from the vending machine. What is that sound? Oh, these people are lifting hard. 
Um, I don't want cake. I'm literally at the gym. I guess I'll... Oh, a grape is $41. The other option is a cupcake. Why is it just cakes and cupcakes? Okay, I guess I'm buying the grapes. Hopefully the grapes are dispensed. Okay, they were. Let's eat these grapes. Nom nom nom. Okay. He's eating the grapes. Now what we need to do is find a victim for mischief. So we are going to do a rude introduction over here. Oh, I don't want to do it like in front of all my friends. Brighten her day afterwards. Deception. Start a preposterous rumor. Get fake bad news. Trick her with a hand buzzer. Scare her. What else can we do? Shout forbidden words. Deception. Give fake bad news. Ask her about her career, though. Oh no. Oh no. Oh. Oh no. Guys. Is this Mortimer? Oh no, it's not. It's Jing Fen. Jing Fen is dying. Oh no. Guys. Oh, he straight up died. He straight up died on the gym floor. He says, your art is just as awful as you. He hates her idealist. Throw a drink at her. Wow, everyone's coming over. There's a dead body. We should probably stop. But how is our mischief skill looking anyway? Um, oh, it's almost all the way up. Let's argue about career. Let's get back to our fights from earlier before Jing Fen just straight up died on the ground. Ask due date. Okay, so he's getting reaped. We are just watching basically, looking very fine about it. Everyone is pretty okay with it. Yeah, not really a big reaction out of these guys. Winter's just being a punk. Uh, Jing, your body is gonna be on the, <laughs> the reception area. Okay, she's still relatively happy. I'm gonna yell at her. I don't want to kiss her hands. That's literally so inappropriate. Dare to jump? I, I don't know what that means. Uh, like, jump off a bridge? Um, scare? And then let's find common ground after. Describe an apocalypse. So weird. Claim to be a criminal mastermind. Now everybody over is over here mourning. Wait. Stop it. You don't need to be mourning him. You need to be working out, Lacey. Life is too short. Make it longer in the options menu. <laughs> That's a pretty funny um, moodlet. I've actually never read that. <sighs> Laugh my butt off. Okay. Um, where did she go? Our new nemesis. I guess we'll have to find someone else. Cheerful introduction. 
We're good. We have to keep going because we are going to level up to Mischief Level 8. Oh, actually, look, we did make it to Mischief Level 8, so we're good, actually. Why don't we head home? Because the kids are probably waiting for us. Because it's about 4.03 p.m. So we're going to head back to the house, which we both now live at, which is pretty crazy. Okay, we just got back to the house and we are busting to go to the bathroom. So I'm going to have him run in here, go to the bathroom. And then we're also pretty hungry, so I'm going to have him come in here and cook. And we're going to cook a vegetable dumplings party or family size, not party size. Um, Lacey just got home. She's a little hungry too, but she can definitely wait. I'm going to have her fill up the dog bowl. And maybe she'll come up here and talk to the kids, check on them. Um, we should adopt the kids as well. So let's see. Oh, I could teach Jasper how to ride a bike. He would love that. And then maybe, um, actions. I'm going to say adopt. Oh, adopt Jasper. What does it say? Does it say? It's official! Jasper, Jasper has been adopted. Okay, great. Where's Topaz? We should adopt Topaz too. And we're just about done making those dumplings, so it should work out perfect. And then I'm going to have him call to meal. Let's see what the kids' relationships with her now are. Um, I wonder what it'll say. Acquaintances, son, friends, son. Okay. So we need to get to know Topaz a little bit better. He really doesn't know us that well. Um, let's evangelize vegetarian benefits, teach a valuable lesson, joke about teachers, fire him up. Yeah. Do an impression. <laughs> Ask about day. I think that that should get us started. Funny, maybe? Funny story. Tell a funny story. And all the while, we'll talk to Jasper as well. We'll say, um... It tell an engaging story and evangelize benefits of health food. You threw ya. Bro, hooray, a zig. Fumu, watso, watso. Fish. Balafoy, gamus, alavine. But I want her to be close to both boys. Okay, it looks like she is friends with both of them now. That's great. Um, but all the while, she still hasn't eaten, so I'm gonna have her grab a serving. Topaz has a good reputation, that's great. Are you guys arguing? Talk about school. Pop culture reference. Asks to cloud gaze, maybe. Oh, 
These kids are so cute. Such a good blended little family now, you know? Like having her live here. Don't be la, Wasusa. And I think that these two are going to woohoo and go off to bed. And then Jasper and Topaz are just cloud gazing in the yard right now. And then I think I'll have them go to bed soon too. Sleep and sleep. I still hear the woo-woo music, but nothing's happening. It says she's pleasantly satisfied, so... Look at them! Oh, they're such a cute couple, guys. Okay, what's going on? You're busting the pee. Alright, these two are back from work, and it's time for us to schedule a little something for the kids for tonight. So we're actually going to have a little slumber party tonight. There it is, slumber party. I'm going to make the host both of our kids, and we'll invite a couple kids their age from the scout troop. So it looks like just two... Let's see. Just two people. And we'll do it at... 8 p.m., which is in one hour. I'm having Lacey take a shower after work, and um, I'm not sure what I want Winter to do. Maybe I'm going to have him work out with the TV. And I want him to also come up with another um, bucket list goal, because that was pretty fun on the computer. So... Um, what we'll do is write a goal from a category. Let's start. Let's see. I want success. The kids are arriving. And we're doing a workout video. Kids, come say hi to your guests. Secret scouting sh handshake. 
Ask guests to slut set up sleeping bags. Where are they? They're all downstairs right now. Oh, one of the girls set up her sleeping bag in the parents' bedroom. It's kind of awkward. Tell a story about a knight and a unicorn to Topaz out here on my sleeping bag. Will he listen? Who's to say? We just totally left our guests hanging. I'm supposed to tell three stories from here, so I'm just gonna keep them rolling. Come on. Time for bed. I'm making Lacey walk out here. And I'm telling her, her my stories. Is there another one? All right, we did it. Go back to sleep. Next, we need to exchange a friendship bracelet. And then after that, we need to achieve gold in a slumber party, achieve level six social skill and level five creativity skills. Definitely doable. Mm -hmm. Now, Topaz is actually gonna have his birthday um, in the next episode. So he's gonna be a preteen soon, um, but he's still progressing nicely. He's finished his aspiration and he's almost done with this one too. So, um, yeah, we should be in good shape soon to age him up. Ashkawam. 
may pick. <laughs> A lot of way. Uh -huh. Oh, smile. All right, guys. So I think we're going to wrap up the episode right here. In the next part, we'll be seeing uh, Topaz become a preteen. And we'll be wrapping up some aspirations, as well as focusing on um, Winter's bucket list a little bit as well, uh, since that's one of the newer features that of the pack that just came out. So we'll be tapping into his bucket list a little bit too and having fun with that. But anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. And without further ado, let's get on to the puppy dog of the day. Bye guys.